everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Since the 19th century, tugboats have become essential for the growing global trade, facilitating the logistics between ports and industrial centers. This has led to the creation of different types of vessels, each focused on maritime operations and specific tasks. Conventional and tractor tugs have the most basic design with single or twin screw propellers, which are enough for towing and pushing. On the other hand, vessels like the azimuth stern drive tugs have improved stability in open waters thanks to their azimuth units. This better maneuverability is also seen in ships like the cyclotal propeller or carousel tugs, featuring advanced propellers. Newer developments have focused on using cleaner energies, including hybrid power units or even full electric motors. It's quiet, no exhaust fumes, so everybody living close to the rivers, they don't see, uh, they, they don't hear us, and they don't smell us. So that's that's perfect. The effectiveness of these vessels is the result of the activity and operations carried out by the crew within these tugboats. Everything begins in the engine room, in the heart of the boat, where crew members with experience in managing and maintaining these systems are in charge of keeping the engines that keep the tugboat active. As is already known, several types of tugboats use different technologies, with some even using completely diverse propulsion systems. However, the vast majority currently still rely on diesel engines, dual fuel engines, or hybrid systems. Tugboats typically house engines with power outputs ranging from 2,600 horsepower for smaller tugs to over 26,000 horsepower for heavy-duty tugs capable of navigating the open ocean. So, no matter the size of the engine, there will always be one or more experts ensuring that these machines are operating optimally performing routine maintenance, changing fluids, and even replacing parts if necessary. While this occurs, crew members on top of the ship can monitor the ship's systems in the control room. Typically, this area is full of all the necessary features to operate the tugboat functions and navigate safely. Although tugboats prioritize functionality, they also provide essential facilities for the crew, ensuring comfort and safety during long shifts. This is why most of these boats have living quarters with cabins, a mess room, and a small kitchen. Each crew member must be focused and dedicated to their work to achieve a job with precision as they operate with various risks. Being indispensable in port operations, 
Tugboats must deal with massive vessels such as container ships, tankers, and bulk carriers. Tugboats provide the precision, power, and safety necessary to maneuver these huge ships into tight port spaces. During docking or undocking those vessels, the tugboats can induce rotational movement to help large vessels navigate tight turns. Critical for aligning the vessel to its berth or guiding it away during departure. This includes its capacity to apply lateral force to push the vessel against the berth for docking or away from it for undocking. These, as well as other operations, must be done with a detailed plan behind them. Assessing the size and type of vessels to be towed, checking the suitability of the tugboat, and evaluating the towing equipment. Having followed this process, the tugboat's crew coordinates with the port operators and members of the vessel to be moved to start docking or undocking. Such a level of precision must be carried out in other environments that might be even tighter than a port. This happens when the tugs must transport cargo ships through narrow canals like the Panama or Suez Canal. In such cases, the tugboats must focus on ensuring the vessel remains centered in the canal, preventing contact with the canal walls or infrastructure like locks and guide walls. This is quite critical in the case of the Panama Canal, where some areas can get 180 feet wide in its narrowest parts. Once the ships leave critical areas such as ports and canals, the tugboats can be used to take these vessels to deeper waters, where they can navigate without any inconvenience and with the help of the tugs themselves. In this context, the crew must consider other factors when moving other vessels. There is a greater possibility of rough water like tidal bores, riptides, or strong currents in these areas. In extreme cases, there could be extra strain on towing and mooring lines. Otherwise, with extra precautions, the procedures are followed just as the ships were towed from the port. Similar processes occur when tugboats must move barges and ports, considering that those flat-bottom vessels do not have their own means of mechanical propulsion, so tugs are necessary for their mobility. To start the transport operations, the tugboat crew connects the barges using different types of connections, depending on the type of barge and what cargo it's carrying. Some tugboats use a wire rope connection, a cable attached to the tugboat that the crew passes through a bollard on the barge. In other cases, the tugs can use an ATB connection to push and pull the barge without modifying the joint. Those connections allow the barges to be arranged in several configurations that depend on how the barge is transported and the area where it is being delivered. With line towing, 
the tugs just move the barge through the line connection, which is ideal for moving barges over longer distances within the port and can be used to transport multiple barges connected in series. Also, tugboats can side tow by positioning alongside the barge and guiding it. These operations demonstrate the great capabilities of tugboats that have been perfectly adapted to move large vessels. Their high towing power and their relatively small size are ideal for transporting heavy vessels while moving with ease through tight spaces. Those are the characteristics the designers and shipbuilders must take into account when manufacturing such boats. By using CAD and simulation software, the engineers can develop the best design that follows the requirements. Advanced manufacturing machines like laser cutters for processing the hull steel are used in the shipyard to get the best quality. Once manufactured and with the certifications checked, the tugboat is launched from the dry dock. Although the most typical thing is to see tugboats moving barges or cargo ships along the ports, they are not limited to helping move more exotic vessels, as is the case with submarines with limited visibility and maneuverability near the surface, especially in confined spaces. Therefore, the tugboats can control the speed of the submarine stabilize its movement, and correct its direction when moving around the docks to avoid any collision or damage. Typically, multiple tugs are used for balanced control, including forward tugs for steering and pulling, and aft tugs to control stern movement and apply braking forces. Considering the complexity of such tasks, tugboat captains undergo training to understand submarine structures, including the location and risks of diving planes. The capabilities of tugboats are also used by emergency forces during events such as fires in ports or ships, as happened with the USS Bonhomme Richard. This amphibious assault ship was lost to a fire in 2020 when undergoing extensive maintenance operations. This meant that most of the firefighting and damage control equipment was often disabled for repair or upgrade. And when the fire broke out, 87% of the ship's fire stations were inactive. The crew faced significant challenges in mounting an effective response, considering they were inexperienced with in-port firefighting in a maintenance environment, which severely hampered their efforts to control the fire before it spread. These events encouraged the formation of fire brigades with special training to work in these maritime conditions.
This also includes implementing various tools and vehicles that can streamline rescue and firefighting processes, which has resulted in greater use of tugboats, taking advantage of their power and agility to move other vessels, or even to be adapted to carry fire extinguishing equipment. Looking at the long list of operations that tugboats can involve, they demonstrate their versatility and usefulness in ports and open waters. Their ability to move any type of vessel and help them maneuver in closed spaces has improved commercial and military operations by transporting cargo safely and reducing the probability of damage and loss. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.